Yes, um, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Delzi, um, as most of us popularly know me as. Um, a scholar, um, academic facilitator, and as well a businessman. And by special grace of God, I've been tutoring students for the past um, seven to eight years now. Okay, um, so I've come to realize, I've come to understand most of the challenges that most students actually, you know, go through. The common question students normally ask, um, Sadelze, how can one read to understand um, very well? How can one, one actually read and not cram? Now, when it comes to, you know, reading, there's been a lot of, you know, unanswered questions, especially when it has to do with cramming of, you know, whatever you're studying. I actually, you know, had to do my research and I realized that most students, majority of students go to the easy route, and which is read and cram, okay? Now, you've seen a case where people, you might actually be under this category, where students will read um, a page, they have lines, they read up two or three or four lines, and then they repeat that same line over and over again. Now, they are trying to forcefully, you know, put that line into their head. But unfortunately, that's not how the brain works, okay? Now, if I'm to make an example, illustration, if you could recall, um, you've had a conversation with somebody before, a day before, right? And then the next day, you you recall every single stuff you discussed with that person the previous day. But you don't have to recite what the person said, but it was talked into your head. Okay, when it comes to reading, it's slightly different. Okay, so I'm going to be taking us through the um, the rudiments that you know going to help us to to understand whatever you're reading. Remember, I'm not just saying it because I feel like saying it. All right, I, I was once a student. Um, I got special grace. I just completed my masters, and I have been teaching students for the past eight years. So I've had encounters with students, you know, um, daily, you know, severally. So one thing I would like to say is that the major reason why you don't tend to understand what you're reading is lack of focus. Yeah, number one is lack of focus. So many students are not focused when it comes to reading, right? That's number one. So if you must actually, you know, understand what you're reading, please try and get your mind at one piece. Um, definitely, I'm going to be, you know, creating another video on how to get us um, focused. Now, since you understand the major reason why you are not understanding whatever you're reading, number one is focus. And I don't want to talk about, oh, I didn't have a good secondary school teacher. No. Number one is focus. If you're not focused, tell me how do you intend to actually, you know, grasp what you're reading. So we've actually seen the major reason why you're not understanding. Now, let's talk about how you can help yourself to be more focused when you're reading. All right. Now, let me give you an example. If you're praying, actually, if you're praying out, if you're praying and then you're praying silently in your heart, you realize that you're going to be battling with so much, you know, side thoughts inside your brain, right? You're going to be battling with side thoughts inside your brain. But if you pray out, the moment you're praying out, you're shutting out those side thoughts. So you're, you're actually dragging the entire attention onto what you're saying. You cannot be talking and then be thinking of something else it's it's actually not um impossible but the possibility is very very slim okay so number one thing for you to do to actually focus and then to be focused when you're reading is number one read out yeah read out you might be in a class where people are gathered you can just take your notebook go outside stay at the balcony or perhaps go to the back voice it out all right voice it out now the major reason why you're voicing it out you want to attract you want to get that full attention to yourself okay once you've actually gotten that full attention to yourself you can then um you know start reading it inside your mind so one of the way to counter distraction or loss of focus is to read out right voice it out okay um number two another thing that will help us to understand is read and recall most students follow read and cram pattern and read and cram pattern has been a major problem for many of students for many students you read a particular line and you want to cram that same line nope 
you read and you recall. What do I mean? You read the first line, you know, just don't repeat that first line. Read through the first line, read through the second line, read through the third line. Perhaps when you get to the fourth line, you pause. Try and recall what you read. You don't try to, you know, try and recall it first because obviously it's inside your head. Try and bring it back with full force. When you do that, it's, it's better than, you know, you know, you're trying to read and then you're trying to cram, perhaps cram it and maybe you're trying to recite it again. For example, we say Okun is a boy. Um, Okun attended um, a dog, a dog grammar school. And then after after reading that sentence, you come back and say Okun is a boy. Okun attended a dog grammar school. Most persons even go as far as closing their notebook. They close their notebook and they try to you know. You should have done that after you must have finished two, three, or four lines, and then you try to recall. Okay. So I just wanted to push out this point out, all right? So that as many as as many students, you know, that are finding it difficult to understand, this video is going to assist us. So I'll be shooting out more videos to actually help us understand the major reason why students tend not to understand when they are reading, and of course, the solution on how to remedy the situation. Thank you very much. Please um, do well to hit the subscribe button, and not just that, hit the bell notification icon because I'm going to be dropping more videos to help us, you know, conquer academic fear and not understanding. Thank you very much.